Hey everybody, you are Supreme Toys here with an unboxing video of a different kind? Different kind. The same kind? Something similar. Something that has been done before. Nothing unique. Ugh. Just got my uh, pile of loot shipment in from Big Bad Toy Store. And I'm going to open the box up and we're going to peruse what I've been holding on to in my pile of loot for the past three or so months. Now, Big Bad Toy Store is pretty awesome in regards to holding your items for shipping. They First off, they have an amazing flat rate shipping of $4 no matter what. Uh, <laughs> it used to not be that cheap. It's amazing that they were able to pull that off. Um, they used to be able to hold your items for I feel like I feel like I had stuff on hold for like a year with them before, years ago, but they slowly have petered that down to a shorter holding time. It definitely was at six months for a time, because I remember specifically holding up everything I bought for six months and then shipping it, and uh, then they eventually they knocked it down to three months. So. I don't think that's unreasonable. In fact, I think that's, uh, they, they really don't have to do that, especially with the flat rate shipping charges they do. It's, there's not a lot of other companies I can think of, if any, who have ever, ever who have ever actually done that. Um, but they are a specialty shop. Big Bad Toy Store has sold everything that I can think of, and there's a large percentage of my collection that I've bought exclusively through them. Now, they're not the only online vendor I use, but they're definitely one of the first I go to for pre-orders and that sort of thing. Um, their customer service has improved greatly. There was a time, and still depending on the issue, if you had a problem with an item, you would have to return it to get an exchange or a store credit or a refund um, and now it's got to a point where they don't want to even deal <laughs> with broken items or you know, faulty items if it's under a certain price point and it's at, and you can prove that it's defective they'll usually let you keep the item and give you a correct store credit a refund or replace the item and their customer service is just top notch but anyway, this is a big box, but I don't think there's that many items in here. Um, there has been times I have had like 40 or more individual items held and shipped all at once. Um, they used to send enormous boxes, like boxes that were twice as big as this one. Um, they'd ship all of your items in that box. But I've noticed that they seem to be breaking up the size of the packages to about half that. I haven't gotten a box bigger than this yet in the past couple years. And they actually split my last order that I had shipped into two different shipments. Big Bad Toy Store does one thing that annoys me, and I know it's probably a law or, or whatever that they have to deal with um, to avoid issues. They charge taxes, even though they do not have a brick and mortar or a warehouse in my state they still charge me taxes for everything I buy and what I do not like about that isn't that I'm paying the taxes I don't care it's that in order to ship my shipment I have to they do not charge me the taxes for the items I've purchased until I ship my pile of loot and that just irks me because it kinda it makes me feel like the whole point of the $4 shipping is redundant. Even though I know it's just the taxes, it's just I have to pay, you know, 40, I think I had to pay $45 <laughs> to ship this box. So I feel like I paid, even though it's mostly taxes, and I certainly hope they're reporting it as such, even though, like, I, I still have, I feel like, I, I feel like I paid $45 to ship this box. I'm gonna, Cut this here box open. Yeah. We're gonna take a gander at all the goodies I've got hidden away inside. 
All right. Ooh, I'm already excited. First thing out of the box is uh, Defenders of the Earth, Garrix. I was skeptical about picking this figure up. I really just wanted the uh, Mandrake and Lothar figures from this wave. Um, Garrick is specifically from the animated series, which I love. If you've never seen the original Defenders of the Earth, take a gander. It holds up pretty good. It, it's, it's, it's a really good show. Now, this figure looks great. I actually like it now, like just looking at it. I might, I might do a review of this particular figure. Um, they do have a toy variant um, that I have not gotten. I'm not sure if it's going to show up at retail or anything, but uh, NECA had it up for pre-order. Um, on their website, I didn't, I didn't order it at the time because I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about Garrix. I've been collecting all of the Defenders and Flash Gordon figures that NECA has been doing lately, so it wasn't that big of a deal to get one figure that I might be a bit iffy on. Um, great line. I got two other figures from it in this box. I know. So uh, that's Defenders of the Earth, Garrix. That's a pretty figure. I like that. that Really good. All right, here we go. What do we got here? Ugh. Motu Origins Ratlore. This figure is beautiful. I can't tell you how much nostalgia I have um, for Motu figures in general. I had a lot of these as a kid. I specifically remember being very fond of Ratlore. I'm curious to see. No, it looks like. Uh, Looks like it's just a neck attachment that extends his neck. I can't be sure. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I really wish they would have included the action feature with this figure because that was one of the best action figures. Has the rattle in it. That's good. At least they put the rattle in there. This figure looks amazing for what it is. Great box art. Man, they, they killing it. I've actually, it breaks my heart to do it, but I've actually been throwing away all the back of cards now. I used to keep all the back of cards. But once they get into a big pile, I, I just couldn't do it, which which hurts to do. But I I open everything, so yeah, it is what it is. Who's next? Okay, some from Super Seven. We got the undercover Raphael from the Super Seven Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. I'll just pull them out real quick. I'm not gonna be opening figure. We got the little slipcase. With wrap on it. I'm not going to be reviewing this figure. It's just a Turtles figure with like, extra accessories. I don't think that's anything special. But I will just do a little slip reveal. I have seen a few reviews of this figure. Um, you know, some are hit and miss. People have a varying opinions about it. I, I'm i all in on the Super 7 stuff, uh, especially with the uh, Playmates Turtles. So, it, as much as I think it's redundant to have this you know Raphael they did have an official set it was all, all four undercover turtles but the only undercover turtle I really want is the undercover Don because he has that cool face mask and I just you know I have fond memories of that toy growing up um, this one's okay he's just got a little cloth goods trench coat and a bunch of specially painted accessories Extra head, silver weapons, some repacks in from April O'Neil, it looks like. Uh, everything looks to be in there. I always double check these guys because uh, Super 7 has been really bad lately about quality control. I've had a number of figures that came in damaged and missing parts. So uh, I always am like worried about when I get these things now. Which is a shame because we pay a lot of money. This figure was $55, and it's a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. If I remember, it might be at other retailers. Um, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yes. Another favorite Motu figure. I remember having Cobra Khan as a kid. I used to pull his head off all the time. I think I eventually broke the shaft that pegs into the neck where the, the, the water would suck up through his uh, back. He also does not have the action fig feature, which is okay. I guess because they do at least give you this little like can't tell if you see it this little spittle um, accessory that makes it look like he's spitting acid uh, but 
for water squirting toys, the original Motu figure was a wonderful, wonderful toy. And I'm glad to see we finally got one. I did order the Camo Con. I have him as well. That came in from the uh, Maddie Collect, not Maddie Collector, uh, Mattel Creations website. It was exclusive through there. So I was fortunate enough I was able to grab one of those. Cobra Con. I want to say top 10, but I have so many top Motu figures. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. And another Motu figure. This one. Mm, uh, I loved the concept. I thought it was excellently done in the Classics line. And, of course, they did him in the um, 2000X line and had this armor in the cartoon. But that head sculpt on this figure is atrocious. They should have just went with the 2000X style head. I mean, look at the, look at the ears. Look at the, I don't know if you can see the ears. Ugh. Anyway. I might put a, um, I might swap a classics He-Man head onto that body, but I do like the actual figure, the armor and everything is cool. Um, I just do not like that head sculpt. Again, some great artwork. I can't wait to see Squeeze and what they do with him, as well as uh, Snake Face. The Snake Men were great, great toys. All right, yeah. more Origins. It's just solid. All that's on this side of the box. All right, we got Boltman from the Sunman series. Uh, I, I don't know if Mattel owns Sunman now, but they definitely did make a deal with the Old Mech Toys to get the rights to manufacture them. Um, I haven't seen anything on the packaging stating Old Mech Toys in any facets, so I feel like Mattel just flat out maybe bought the property. Uh, a lot of the Sunman figures leave a, a lot to be desired. They're, they're kind of plain. They're kind of boring. But there's just something about them that, you know, is something special. I, I like that we're getting origin style figures of anything that was capitalizing on the Motu style of the 80s. So it's just cool that, you know, we're getting throwbacks from this. Artwork is still good. We got them on there fighting Camo Con, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. I, I can I, I, I could take or leave the Sunman figures. Um, I'm glad we got Sunman. Um, he's about the only one I feel like that was worth exploring in the Origins line. Even even Pighead was kind of lame. But uh, I'm not trying to nitpick anything. And another Motu Origins. This time we have the Deluxe Thunder Punch He-Man. He's got his um, little shield there. Shield there. An electronic feature. Not electronic feature. What would you call that? Uh, fist blast. Like fire. Thunder. Punch. Effect. Yeah. And a gold sword. Uh, I did not have uh, the Thunder Punch He-Man or the Terror Claws or any of the... The only variants I had of He-Man and Skeletor were the uh, Battle Armors. So, really, with the exception of the Classics figures, this is like only my second foray with the Thunder Punch. Nothing special here. I don't really care about Thunder Punch He-Man. Um, I might can use that head though. I might can put that head on the uh, Snake Armor He-Man. Uh, some more cool box art fighting the Snake Horde Troopers. Okay, another Defenders of the Earth here. Who we got? Ah! Oh wow. He looks great. Mandrake the Magician. Mandrake the Magician from Defenders of the Earth. Uh, you know, you might look at this character and be like, eh, it's just a classic style magician. First off, if you want a classic style magician character for your show, this is your man. I mean, he's perfect. He's got that whole motif going on. He looks great. The sculpts are great. You can even swap this head for a Dracula head from another line or something because that, that suit is phenomenal. You could use that for a lot of different, like, customs. But, don't sleep on Mandrake. It was an actual an <laughs> it's actually an episode of Defenders of the Earth where he goes up against, um, <laughs> what, what was it, uh, Vishnu the Destroyer? One, one, of the, one of the Hindu gods. He actually goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Hindu god in the cartoon and uh, kind of wins. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. This this is a very OP, underrated character. 
and probably honestly one of the best characters from that show. So I'm glad that I finally got you know uh, Mandrake the Magician. This oh, I know you guys are like oh it's just a magician in the top hat. This, this is your dude right here. That's the guy. I can't wait to see what else they make of that. All right, what is this? You know what? We're not. We don't have a lot left, surprisingly. All right, we got King Hiss. Okay. I have mixed feelings about King Hiss. I got King Hiss used at a flea market when I was a kid. And the original King Hiss had the removable armor. So this snake head and arms were his actual body. And the armor popped off, and the arms came off of the snake heads and revealed you know, King Hiss in disguise. This one's a little bit different. This figure uses the swappable arm uh, gimmick. So you can pop his regular arms off here and put these on. I guess the armor's still removable. And then you put on his King Hiss head. Yeah. Let's see as the instructions say. Um, the King Hiss I had was missing one of his human arms, so he always had just a snake arm. I always thought he was a weird gimmick character. But there's still nostalgia there. Not my favorite uh, Snake Man figure or He-Man figure at all. Uh, I know a lot of people love this guy, but he's low tier for me. The Classics figure was great. Um, not perfect. A lot of issues with it, but it was still a good figure. Um, I feel like this is a step back because I've seen pictures of it and the snake arms, I feel like I'm just so used to the skinny snake arms on the original one that these giant snake arms just feel like a bit much. But, you know, everybody's going to have their own opinion on that. But you can't argue with the box art. I want that snake, uh, snake man Tila. Uh, I really do. We haven't had a snake man Tila since the 2000 X line. We didn't get it in classics. I was really wanting it in classics. I hope one day someone does one for classics again. And I hope we get one for origins. Alright. What do we got here? Barnyard Commandos. It's about time. Like I got the 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 um I got the stealth ops variants a while back and did a review on those. Those were great toys. They're great figures. I love them. They're on my shelf right now. Um, I'm happy that I finally have the uh, normal ones. Now, these these came in appro approximately the same time as the uh, Stealth Ops versions, but, you know, they were in my pile of loot and I had them sitting there. Box is a little bit banked up. I don't care about that. Get a little slipcase reveal. Who is this? Uh, Sergeant Wooly Pullover. There you go. I will not be doing a review of these guys. I feel like the Stealth Ops versions were good enough as far as reviews. Um, but these guys are definitely going on my shelf, along with the others. Gorgeous, gorgeous figures. Premium, premium DNA. For as long as it takes for them to get product out, when the product comes out, it is top notch. And I'm happy to have these guys in my collection. I hope to see more from them. Which brings us to another... Barnyard Commando. This one is Major Legger Mutton. Another sheep. Ram. Goat. Uh, it's hard to tell. It's hard to look. It's hard to get a really good look through these um, shiny uh, blisters. But he looks great. He's got this little tattoo on his arm. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Is that a, a leaf? Or a melon? I'm not sure what that is. It's cool. Uh, pretty much the same as the Stealth Pop versions, just different colors. The accessories all the same. Paint apps are different. He looks great. I, um, I can't wait to actually what? open these guys up. That was in box, not me. Alright. This is the Glow in the Dark Trash and Pumpkin. Um, I pre ordered this from Big Bad Toy Store. They had it up on their site, but um, it was shortly after I pre-ordered the first, the normal version on Megalo from Megalopolis, and everything went to pot with Megalopolis. I opted to pre-order this from Big Bad Toy Store, as I did with the Barnyard Commandos. 
and everything came through, but, you know, it was kind of stressful there, not knowing if you were going to get anything, but now I have another one. I have, uh, I have the normal one here on my shelf. He's awesome. I'm going to have him out, too. I hope these guys keep doing mad balls. These things are beautiful. Wow, this guy looks great, too. Mm. Show him a little glow in the dark. On the back. I love this box art, though. Like, I, It's a shame to throw some box art away, and this is... That's so cool. That's so cool. Uh, they, they really need to do some decals. Premium DNA, if you guys see this, probably won't. I don't care. But somebody tell them to do decals. Do a decal set of all their man balls so we can stick these on, like, our cars or something. Final decals. Real good stuff. Not paper. Yeah, we need it. Can't wait to open him. I won't be reviewing him, either. Man, these boxes like the poop. All right, getting down to the wire here. Not a lot left. Another Barnyard Commando. This time it is Private Side of Bacon. Private Side of Bacon. It's a side of bacon. Yep, same accessories as the other one. Nothing special, but the paint apps look wonderful. I cannot wait to open these guys up. I love the I love how different the paint apps are. They're so drastically different from the Stealth Op versions that really they don't have to be the same figure they're variants but you know they, they, they look good like it's like I got two sets of different characters that's how I feel and that's how I'm gonna use them okay one last barnyard commando this time it is ah, corporal hound the hog this guy's great got that giant pig head I love that he can hold his swords, um, or sword. The big giant uh, missile launcher that he has is a bit confusing to figure out, but once you do, it's it's not too bad. Uh, that's the one cool, cool thing about these guys, and it's probably the reason they decreased the scale a little bit from the original prototypes that they showed. Um, it's because the accessories are so massive, I can't imagine them like just ten percent more would have been so much so much more money, so much more stress, so much more product and materials and paint and yeah. I can see why they would have did that. I wish wish they would have been the ten percent bigger that we were promised in the beginning. But I, I actually understand why they did it. No hard feelings there. Last Motu Origins item. Uh I have not seen this pop up in retail yet. And you know, I gotta be honest, like I'm looking at this and I'm disappointed. <laughs> I am disappointed. I am as disappointed in this as I was when my dad brought this home to me when I was a little kid. But for different reasons. Alright. We got the Ground Ripper with Mechanic. Ugh. I didn't mind the Mechanic figure when I was a kid. I actually enjoyed the action feature. A lot of people did not like Mechanic. He is kind of a lame character. The colors are a bit. Um, but I gotta be honest I broke my Mechanic trying to pull his arm off because the uh, vintage one has a harder plasticier arm and a harder torso than the um, first series of figures so I kind of busted it and then I took him in the backyard and shot him to pieces with a pellet rifle and to this day I can go to my parents house and dig around in the dirt in the backyard and I will find his arm or a piece of his visor and I never pick them up. I just <laughs> kind of scratch it back over. I'm like, oh, I'll come back and see that later. My disappointment is the uh, the Ground Ripper. Wasn't this the Road Ripper originally? I don't know. This was not my favorite vehicle by any chance. The seatbelt always broke. Um, I never, I don't even think I ever had the Ripcord. The original one comes with a Ripcord. So it goes, man, I never even had that. But I don't know if it's me. But is this thing like half the size of the original? I feel like they shrunk it significantly. I feel like the original one was so big. It had to have been much bigger than that. This one just seems small. I have my, uh, I have one of them somewhere, but it's not, I can't grab it. I uh, don't what to compare, but this thing looks so tiny. It does come with a um, alternate head, so to speak. So you can kind of swap out the profile of the vehicle, which is pretty cool. Uh, 
Not gonna say, even the box art kind of sucks. It's just like an egg spying over a cliff at the snake den. Oh, wow, well, okay. And the instructions. Of course, again, they negate the action feature and give him a peggable neck, which isn't even that long. So, yeah. Lame pack. Lame set, guys. Uh, Mechanex off the checklist, though. Don't have to worry about him anymore. And lastly, last figure. And for some reason, the package is decimated. I don't know why. Man. Lothar on Fenders of the Earth. I don't know why my box is messed up. That's okay, I'll be opening them. I don't know if you can see that face. That man is mean mugging the heck out of you. It won't focus on his face. It's focusing on my face. That guy has a mean mug, man. But he looks phenomenal. The sculpts are great on these. I was so excited when I saw these on the um, display at one of the conventions. They all, I was just like, as soon as I saw them, I'm like, I, I'm buying those. Um, huge Defenders fan. I loved classic uh, Flash, Phantom, and stuff like that. I honestly don't know if, uh, I don't know all the backstory on Lothar. I remember him specifically from Defenders of the Earth. I don't know if he's exclusive to that, but I feel like he was his own character at some point, as most of the, most of the uh, characters from Defenders line tend to be. To me, this completes the Defenders of the Earth set. We got uh, Flash, Phantom, Lothar, Mandrake, and Ming. Um, Garrett's kind of like rounds that out because he was in a lot of episodes. There are some other main characters like the children. I don't really, I'm not really interested in them. Um, but if they did them, I'd probably buy them. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. That is a great that is a great face sculpt. It will not focus very well, but that is a fantastic face sculpt. And anyway, that was the last figure. That was the last figure. I usually have a lot more in my pile of loot, but I've been uh, easing up on things. There's not a lot that I have. I feel like I have to have these days. That was my pile of loot unboxing. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.